Hello, everybody, and welcome to Simply Cards by Kathy. I'm Kathy Andes, and today is Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. I am so glad you're here with me, and I'm excited to share some information with you and um, some fun stamping ideas. Uh, before we get started, um, I want to welcome you. If you're new to my channel, I'm so happy you found me. And um, if you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell up in the lower right-hand corner, you get notified when I do videos um, live or when I post a new video. If you're returning, thank you so much because um, you have helped me to grow my channel, which I am um, continuing to try to do, and I appreciate that. And if you're on the replay, I'm so glad you found me, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. A couple things I want to um, let you know of. Stampin' Up! is having a free shipping day on this Thursday, the 15th of December. And you know they only do that a couple times a year, two, three times a year. And um, you get free shipping with a $75 purchase um, before tax. So if you have some supplies you want and you've been holding off, this might be a good time to order them. And um, right now, I am going to flip that camera down and we're going to get started. Let's see here. All right. Today, we're going to have some fun with a sketch. And how did I come up with that? Well, I've had several people say to me, you don't have any trouble coming up with ideas. Where do you come up with them? I have as much trouble as the rest of you with coming up with ideas. But I have different places that I or go to look or some different things I use to do that. And one of the things that I use is a sketch. And this is actually one that I created. Um, sketches are there to give you ideas. They're there to kind of um, kind of prod you, to get you thinking, what can I do with this? What can I use? And it's not steadfast. It's for you to look at and interpret any way you want to. So today we're going to do a card using this sketch. But then I'm going to show you three others, and each one's a little bit different. It just is how I interpreted it. So there's other places to look for um, getting ideas for cards. And over the next um, month, I'm going to actually do once a week, um, give you some of those different things to do, like a Pinterest, doing a color challenge, um, looking at your catalogs casing so each um over the next month we're going to cover each one of those just so you can get some ideas and know where to look so today this is the sketch we're going to use i'm going to set it off to the side and i'm going to bring in the catalog and show you um, what stamp set we're using um, for the card we're making on um, we're going to use the season of chic and because I know we're all might be getting a little tired of the Christmas cards, this is my uh, 10th week or 11th week of uh, the 12 weeks of Christmas. I chose to use this stamp, um, the snowflake, and I'm going to use some paper with it from the gnomes. And we're going to make um, a card using that sketch. Now that's on page 99 of your um, annual catalog. That chic bundle is a great bundle. I really love it. Now I'm going to use some greetings from um, A Christmas to Remember. I'm going to use the season's greetings because I want to make this card to send to someone who doesn't necessarily celebrate Christmas. Um, so it's more like for a happy new year. And I'm going to use the um, friends like you make the season special on the inside. So let's get started. I'm using Balmy Blue and I've done a lot of the prep work again for us simply because I think it goes a little bit easier for you and for me but also because I had three other cards I wanted to show you not that we're going to make them but that I want to show you when we're done just to give you an idea of how to put that sketch into play. So all of the cards are going to be four and a half by 11 scored at five 
four and a quarter by 11 squared at five and a half. I apologize for that. And don't worry about writing everything down because by tomorrow morning at 10, there'll be a link right down below in the video description. It'll take you over to my website, my blog, and you will be able to see the video. You'll also be able to um, download uh, a PDF tutorial. There'll be all the supplies, all the measurements, everything you need, and all four cards that I'm going to show you tonight will be on that website. So again, I scored this at five and a half and we folded it and uh, burnished it with the bone folder. Now I am going to leave this sketch here just so you can see it in the corner and see how I'm going to work with it. Now I'm using the paper from the gnomes and I really liked the snowflakes and this has some um, starry sky, balmy blue, and some Pacific Point in it. So I wanted to play off my paper, which I do all the time. So I cut a piece for this piece here um, of Starry Sky. And this is one and three quarters by five and a half. And then this is one and a half by five and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna adhere that strip. Now that's my interpretation of it. I could have done just the designer series paper, but I just wanted to dress it up a little bit. So let's go ahead with that. It's, there we go. I hope you're having a good week. I know it's only Tuesday. But time is going by so quick, and before we know it, holidays are going to be here and over. Um, so I want a little bit of that edge all the way um, on both sides. So I'm just going to center this. And I just think that uh, designer series paper looks so pretty with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and for this card, I'm going to keep it as it is. And you're going to see I did a little bit different with some of the others. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my multi-purpose glue to glue this down. Now, um, again, if you're new to my channel, if you go up to the lower right-hand corner of my banner um, on YouTube, you will see a link to my website. Um, I do a weekly newsletter and I include um, free tutorials in there. And it just keeps you up to date with what's going on with Stampin' Up! And also with um, Simply Cards by Kathy. And then um, we will, um, I'll send that out to you weekly on Wednesdays. So I'd love to have you subscribe to my newsletter and um, get those free tutorials for more ideas. So for the circles, I am going to use the circles and I wanna use this um, snowflake stamp, but we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna um, use Versamark and we're gonna emboss with the silver embossing powder. So I forgot to grab my embossing buddy. Let me do that. If you're not familiar with this, this helps to take just the oils off of the paper and the static. And I simply lightly dab it. And that way you don't have your um, embossing powder um, sticking in places you don't want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down because I'm gonna use my paper for um, my embossing powder and I'm going to ink this up with Versamark and um, because it is a photopolymer stamp I'm going to bring in my piercing mat and I'm going to stamp on here. Now I stamp down and I just hold it for a few seconds because I want that um, Versamark ink to absorb in and I don't know if you can see that but that's that's a good image. 
So we're going to go ahead and set this on our paper and I'm going to bring in my silver embossing powder and just sprinkle it on. And then give it a light tap and you can see by using my embossing buddy, I really don't have any um, any extra embossing powder hanging around. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pour this back in. And now I'm going to uh, bring out my heat gun and I apologize if it's noisy. I'm going to turn it on for a second here just so it heats up. And then I'm just going to go ahead and um, I don't move it around. I hold it about six inches from the um, paper. And once I see that magic happen and it starts to heat up and melt, I just lightly move it around. Now that looks good. When you're using your heat gun, if you're new to um, embossing with powder, you don't want to overheat it because if you do, it flattens it out and it'll actually burn the paper. So I'm pretty happy with that image. And to save us some time, since I needed three of them, um, I used the magic of YouTube and I went ahead and I embossed and cut out three of the circles that we're going to use. So I'm going to go over here and now I just kind of want to arrange them. Um, and again, I'm going to stick with the sketch and um, I think I'm going to pop these up using Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to bring those in and I cut my Stampin' Dimensionals in half. Um, I think they go further, at least for me. And um, it just, I don't know. That's just how I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere my top one first. So we're going to put three of these on. I hope you're all getting ready for the holidays. Um, if you're here with me live, I'd love if you'd leave me a comment. Let me know where you're from. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them there. I'd um, be happy to answer them for you. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put this one right here. And we're going to um, do the bottom one. I guess I didn't get that one cut in half, so we're going to use a whole one. Okay. And this one I'm going to put right about here. And then I'm going to overlap with this one. And since I am overlapping, I am not going to put a Stampin' Dimensional here because I don't want it to pop up. What I will do, or stick up higher, I want this to lay on my two other circles. So what I will do is I'll put one in the middle and on each side. And if we need a glue dot, we'll go ahead and do that um, to adhere it to the top circle. Let's go ahead and And I am going to grab a glue dot here and just stick one on the side. And we're going to go ahead and so there's our, I don't like that. Let's see if I can pull that up a little bit. Just want it to come over a little bit more. There we go. So there's our circles, and now let's do our greeting. 
So I am going to use the banner uh, pick a punch and I'm going to stamp. Um, I already stamped it actually season's greetings and I did this using the starry sky so I'm going to go ahead and if you haven't used a punch before we're going to open it up and then this is measured at th um, three quarters of an inch so I'm going to go ahead and slide that in along the grooves and then just come down and you can see it does cut that for you. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to trim this off. And I'm going to go ahead and do just the same. And here's our banner. Now, um, I am going to pop that up with some Stampin' Dimensionals. Let's get some of this out of the way here. And we're going to bring these back in. Oops. And I'm going to go ahead and take these off. I'm going to put this along the front. And I'm going to move it almost to the ends so that it's even. So here's the front of our card. Okay, and it's a pretty easy and simple card. And then we're going to come in here and do our inside. Now for the inside, this is four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead, I've cut a, a three eighths inch strip of matching designer series paper. And we're going to adhere that um, to the right edge of our basic white card stack here. Okay, that looks good. If you have a little bit left over, I simply turn it over and then just snip it off. And then we're going to stamp our inside greeting. And I'm going to do that and the starry sky as well. So I am going to test uh, my stamp to make sure it's straight because if you've watched me before, um, you know I say I don't do anything straight without some guidance here. So I do use my grid paper when testing it. I line up my stamp with one of the lines, my block, and I look to see if it's straight. And that one's not quite so straight. The uh, And when I'm putting it on, I'll use my grid lines and I try to do the best I can to line it up and then test it. And the reason being, it's hard with the cling stamps to do that. If you're using the photopolymer stamps, I just lay them right down on the grid paper and pick them up. And usually they're always straight. That looks pretty good. Um, and that works for me. So you may have tips and tricks um, for getting your stamps on straight. And there we go. So let's adhere this to the inside. Then we'll take a look at our um, front. And I, I think I want to add some gems to that maybe some iridescent rhinestones just to dress it up a little bit. Now, if you, um, what else could you have done on this inside? Well, you could have embossed um, a snowflake in the lower right corner or up at the top and even in, um, stamped off and embossed just a partial snowflake. But I kind of like the look of this. So let's do that and let me see if I can pull out some iridescent uh, rhinestones. And I have them right here. So let's add some of these to this. I think they're going to be really pretty. Um, let's use the medium size ones. I'm going to put Put one here. 
I'm going to put one here. And let's take another one. I'm going to put it up here for that. Now what you could do is you could even, and let's just see how it looks, you could even take a rhinestone and put them in the center of your snowflakes. Just to give it a little bit of bling. So here's our first card. So I'm going to move all of this off to the side. And then I'm going to bring in the other cards and um, show you what I did. So here's another one using this sketch. Very similar. Um, but with this, I use the um, Celebrate with Tags bundle. I love this bundle. And I wanted a birthday card. So what I did is stamped the balloons and added them to the... Um, circles I tried doing just the balloons and it kind of got lost and then on the inside just stamped and added my basic white now here's another one um I love this one this one I did happiness abounds um stamp set and I used the hues of happiness paper and this is done in night and navy um this is a piece of retired paper. This was from the um, abstract beauty paper that was in last um, the last January, I believe, to June mini catalog. I have a scrap of that, and I just like the way it looked. But then, with the hues of happiness, I took the dyes, um, the blossom blossoming happiness dyes. And I used my designer series paper to cut my flowers out and then arrange them. And you can see it's different. You can see I had the, the center part to the back and um, the smaller flowers um, towards the front. And then on the inside, I cut a partial flower and glued it down and just added a strip. So that's the third one. And my last one is back to the um, Season of Chic bundle. Now with this one, um, I wasn't really, um, just kind of started and just kind of led me to this. So with this, I used the real red and I embossed it with the time-worn type, time-worn type, time type. And uh, on the front, um, this is a piece of the paper from the Candy Canes um, bundle from our uh, winter catalog and uh, on basic white. And then I stamped the gloves in um, Starry Sky and cut them out. And look how I interpreted that from this. It's just for ideas. And then on the inside... I stamped my mittens and my greeting. So from that um, sketch, we have these four cards, each one a little bit different. This one just using the designer paper. This one using a background with the designer paper. Um, this one, I rearranged the um, what would be the circles as your guides. And this one... I flipped it around on its side. So use your sketches. They're a lot of fun. They'll give you some ideas. Interpret them the way you, you see them. And they're going to be beautiful. So I hope you really enjoyed today's cards. I enjoyed making them for you and sharing them with you. Um, I hope you'll come back with me on Friday for Friday Fun at One. And... Um, you have a great week. Stay safe, well, and I hope to see you again real soon. Have a great day, everybody.